day grade tens and once again your favorite uncle is with you and today we are looking at uh, calculating vectors once again the resultant of vectors and i'm looking at particularly the resultant of uh, three vectors right so if you have not subscribed please just make sure you're part of the family and i will continue to make maths and science as possible as easy as possible if you find yourself struggling, you are more than welcome to be a part of our online sessions as well. Um, you know, all the details that you need will be on the description of this video. Right. But now let's get right into it. So the question says we've got a man that pulls an object upwards with the force of F1, right, uh, of 80 newtons. His friend helps him by pulling up with the force of uh, F2, that is 70 newtons. If the weight of the box is 100 newtons, what is the resultant on the object? What is the resultant force on the object? So the first thing that we have to do is to first choose a scale. So remember what I said to you. said so the first thing that we're going to do um, is to choose a scale. Okay. Right, so that's the first thing we'll do. And then secondly, what we are going to do is we are going to draw. So remember that you draw the second vector always, right? Uh, the second vector from the head of the first, right? So from the head of our first vector of the first vector right so let's try and do that so you choose a scale in this case let's say uh, i see i've got two forces there that are f1 uh, 80 newtons and 70 as well as 100 newtons so let's choose a scale let's say um, let one centimeter represent 10 newtons right I think that's a good scale that we can choose there now what do we have if we wanted to draw what we call a vector diagram uh, not a vector diagram rather a uh, free body diagram what are we going to observe we're going to have force f1 right of 80 newtons upwards we're going to have another force f2 but this one is 70 newtons also upwards and we're going to have another force um the weight of this object which is f3 let's just try and draw it nicely okay so that's f let's say this is the weight and our weight is actually larger than each of the two forces so in this case um, the art diagram must actually speak to that okay so uh, perhaps it's not it is not clearly visible let's just make it a little bit longer okay so our weight will be equal to 100 newtons right so this is our free body diagram however what we want to do is to draw a vector diagram right so we are going to try and do that Okay, so let's get right into it. All right, so let's remove uh, this uh, diagram. Okay, I'm sure you got it now. So firstly, I'm going to try and draw the two forces. So in this case, my scale is, a, uh, is one centimeter for 10 newtons. So which means if I am looking for 80 newtons, I am going to actually have uh, eight centimeters, right? I'm sure you can actually see that. All right, let's pull out our ruler. And now going to start with the first one. All right, please, I want you to follow on. Okay, so let's start right there. Say, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's where it's going to end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters. That is an equivalent of 80 newtons. So we are now going, we, we have the first vector, which is F1. 
So F1 upwards is 80 newtons, right? So what I'm going to do is let me just use a different color for F2 so that you can see it. So at the head of the first vector, I'm going to draw the tail. Remember, we use the head to tail method, right? So at the head of the first vector, I'm going to draw the tail of my second vector. Now, both of them in the same direction. So I'm going to start there. So make sure that my ruler is on the mark, right? So that is 70 Newtons. So I'm going to start there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it would end right there. Okay, now that would be the resultant of the two vectors. So this is F2 at 70 Newtons, okay, and it is heading upwards. Now remember now, we still have another force, which is F, uh, the weight of the object, which is 100 Newtons. So in this case, I'm going to add the head of the other of the second diagram, I mean of the second vector uh, diagram, I'm going to start the tail of the last vector diagram. So that means, let me start right here. As you can see, it is on the mark. I'm going to use a different color though. So in this case, I'm going to draw a hundred Newtons downwards. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's just verify. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right, that is 10 centimeters. Note in this case, 10 centimeters would be 100 Newtons. So this is my weight, which is 100 Newtons, right? So that's the head of the, of it. Okay, so now we want to calculate the vector, the resultant vector, or the resultant force in this case. So, which means it will be, okay, that's my calculator misbehaving there. Right, so now I'm going to start from the first vector, from the tail of my first vector, which was F1. So I'm going to start there and measure to the head of my very last vector diagram, which is the weight. So let's try and do that. Okay, there is my resultant. So this would be the resultant force. And in this case, ladies and gents, all I need to do is just measure, right? So from there... It's one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So in this case, it means that uh, it would be six over there, okay? Uh, but would that be true? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's five if I count from that one. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Right, actually that's five. So in this case, it means when I calculate the resultant, it is five centimeters, ladies and gents. You can tell from where we started, it's actually five. Uh, from here, I measure one, two, three, four, and five. So that would be five centimeters. So now what I need to do is simply go back to my scale and say, well, in this case, it means that uh, for one centimeter, remember, we said that's 10 Newtons. So that means if I've got five centimeters, how many Newtons would that be, right? So you can cross multiply X times one, that's X, right? And five times 10, this would be 50. So that means this would be 50 Newtons. So that means, therefore, my resultant force would be equal to 50 Newtons. 
and I'm sure you can see clearly, ladies and gents, that it would be a force that is uh, upwards from the head, I mean, from the tail of the first diagram to the head of the last diagram is actually pointing upwards. So in that case, it tells us that the resultant there is an upward force. Right. So that would be upwards over there. All right, and that is really how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gents. If you want to see how you would do this using a, um, you know, a calculation, we can say, well, it means that the resultant force is equal to, now you would need to, change, uh, to, to choose a direction as positive. So if we choose upwards as positive, I'm going to say, well, it's going to be F1 plus F2. In this case, we know that the weight is actually downwards. So as a result, this would be uh, 80 newtons plus another 70 minus that 100. And I'm sure you can see how these two will give us 150 minus 100, and that should give us 50 newtons. So which means our resultant force should be 50 newtons. And in this case, because it came out as positive, remember it is a vector, so it must be upwards. All right, I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, and th that is how we are going to do vectors in one dimension. All right, so we're going to leave it there for today. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you're part of the family. Just hit that subscribe button. And of course, as I did say, for those of you who may want some assistance in maths and science, we've got our online classes that are available. Visit, visit our website, which is www.mlungesinkosi.co.za or you can even uh, look at the description of this video. Uh, you can get our link, tree, um, link there and it will take you directly to all that you need. Otherwise, great tens, I will see you guys again when we talk about motion in one dimension. Shop shop.